Hey everyone, today we're doing a short tutorial on building techniques. Yeah, so um, we've, asked, blah, we've been asked how we actually um, put our buildings together um, because someone actually likes our buildings, um, which I'm kind of impressed by. <laughs> uh, them kind of cool. We, we kind of like our castle. Um, yeah, that castle building. is the best creation we've made, I think. Mm. So, um, Ross is actually going to show you how we make the little panel strips and stuff. Um, I think these are with red power too. But yeah. um, if I'm wrong, correct me, please. So that's how you make an iron saw, which can only chop through wood. But I'm going to make an emerald one because they can chop through stone, cobblestone, anything yeah. really. You can actually make a diamond, a ruby, and a sapphire one as well in the same process. Just remove the emerald and put ruby in there or sapphire. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So where we actually place our stuff is another thing. Um, we want a trio, so built in the jungle because there's mega eye trees there. Uh, we wanted a castle so we put it on a hill and the uh, reason it's on this hill is because we actually nuked the area and it just looked um, nice, looked like the, there should be a castle on the hill. Um, just showing them how to make the plank panel strips and everything else there. Oh yeah, just you just took them, chuck them in there. Um, you yeah, can you make... can shorten it by putting it at the underneath. And then you can uh, make it into a smaller, thinner version of that. Yeah, you can actually cut them and make corner pieces and, and all that stuff and the door joint together, which is kind of cool. Um, it kind of adds a bit more style to your actual um, crafting, uh, to your actual building, so you can spend more time in Minecraft world because it looks so awesome and awesome is always awesome. And if you put that in there, you make a wooden plank pillar. Yeah. There's a few other techniques as well. I don't know where I'm going to show them all though. But you can actually, if you put two in there, two of them, you can go back to where you was before. Yeah, you can actually um, rebuild what you actually cut. So fill all that with a thing, and you'll get eventually a block. It's just eight. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind block. of it's kind of easy to work it out, how to build, put your stuff back together from it too much. Yeah. Um, like I was, th I was thinking, Ross, like over there, a bridge might look good. Um, a bridge like cost them two lands. Yeah, probably from our castle to that there. Oh yeah, bridge will look good there. Yeah, we just we just randomly uh, pick places to build and it just works out um, quite good. We use the mercurial on the philosopher's stone because um, dirt's cheap, um, I mean really cheap. Um, so we just kind of use our mercurial to make a base. Yeah, oh, to make a wall. <laughs> I don't want a wall there, but it's all right. It's all right. So he's, he's doing that, and then all I'll do is I'll crouch, turn into cobblestone, click again, turn into stone. Yeah, so. it's pretty easy, really. So um, what, what we do as well, actually, is as it's dirt, it's easy to break, and Ross has actually made this too high. I've also made it uh, too far. Okay, I'm just going to go and create it, because it's going to take too long of a okay. So we just smash all this out until we get the height we want. I've got to make a pillar because yes. you see the towers, they were made from the Mercurial Eye. Yeah, so if, in you, pillar mode. if you go in and put the charge down, Ross, so it takes some massive. Alright, crouching. <laughs> yeah, I'll just put it fully down. You see, to line up your uh, pillars, you can like put a block underneath or whatever. And that should line them up. Should I do two do? Two pillars? Just the one. Okay. So what Ross does, he puts his block down, picks his area. I'll just put it there, yeah. And then you see, you can line it up with one block. And whack. There you go. And then if you look out, you've got a, a gigantic pillar. And it's best to do um, the digging part while you're actually... Oh, we've got half a pillar. Half it's a pillar? Right. It's alright, it'll do. Yeah, we, we, it's okay. So we're going to actually um, change this. What do you want one next to it, Dave? I can do one next to it if you want. I don't know. It's up to you. I'll leave it up to you. Yeah, it's our lovely world. We've got to look so after it. So we use Philosopher's Stone um, to actually transform the dirt into our cobblestone and transform that into, um, well, stone, of course. Um, I did make it pretty high, but... It's okay, isn't it? It's okay. Yeah, have I got any, uh, I've got no pickaxe for some reason. Try. 
I'll just watch the. Okay, so what I'm I'm doing is trying to make this look like um, stone. Yeah, it it is good to make towers because they um, capture the landscape really well. They uh, kind of add a new dimension, and then what we do is we um, smash down the middle, so you can go blah 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 blah, and I don't know where my end is. Um, <laughs> Hello, dude. You making windows? I'm just smashing down. Okay. So yeah, what we do is we do this. So so if it's if it's not helpful, um, do actually comment and stuff. Um, we try to be as helpful as we can. So yeah, it's a bit awkward because we was asked to make uh, to make a world better. Yeah, and, and um, hmm. well, it's kind of awkward to explain. Um, we just go like random, so. Yeah, we we just get an idea of what we want to build. Um, today we says, oh, we'll build a little little odd thing here. Um, this is just a piece of random stuff. Um, we didn't have no plans for this. I'm just doing this in my head as we speak. So what I'm doing is just building this. Shall I come in creative mode? I can help, can't I? Yeah. Yeah. I'll just help do face. So I'm, I'm just um, getting my uh, my house sorted. Do you want a door here? I was going to put the door like here. Okay, and then steps like. Yeah. So okay, yeah. we'll just make this so we can actually walk down. We're bumping our heads. Okay, so I'm inside. Um, I'll just put some aisles for the windows. I sometimes like to join it up to the side, just so it's got some support. Yeah, I'm just getting some bits out of my vent because I did actually have some bits in here. Um, but as you can see, I'm in creative and it's kind of awkward to get all what I want. I will get dude to transmutate them if he's got, uh, if he feels like it. What's that? <laughs> Other thing up here. Okay. Just to make it look like it's um, got some support. Well, mate. There it is. Okay. So we uh, just transmutate everything. Um, Costs hardly anything to use dirt because dirt's one block. Well, one EU each um, thing it should be. So, okay. So, um, last if you come inside, we'll just show a few little knickknacks, making uh, chairs and stuff. Okay, I thought that was a duff. <laughs> I was going to come for the window then. Okay, so what what we do as well is we just put these panels, uh, never rack strips around the windows, inside and out, so it just. Uh, sets the windows off a little. Yeah, it brings them out. Brings Makes them out. stand out a little, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. That makes them so... Uh, ugly. Yeah, ugly. I was going to say un-3D, but I don't think that's a word. <laughs> okay, so we've got them. And um, we you can actually cut bookcases um, into strips. Um, Give me that. So if you want to cut them into some strips, Ross. These just to save space. Oh, can you actually do it in your inventory? Or do you need a crafting table? Uh, should be able to do it in inventory. Ah, yes. So you just make a few strips. Um, just. Do you want a bit smaller? Yeah, chuck them there. You got it. See, um, oh. if you got if you got a small house, um, I've got the wrong. No, no. So if you got a small house and you you're trying to save a bit of room, not make it look so cluttered, just um, put your bookcases in strips. Um, I think you can actually make them a bit shorter. You can you can make them like uh, really thin, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm just gonna get some covers and some other panels and stuff and show you how to make a chair. Uh, we make chairs anyway. Well, yeah. chair chair things that look like chairs, but I actually chairs because they're well, they're not chairs. Okay, so what <laughs> what, what we got is um, wool for the base. Uh, I think that's a bit too small, isn't it, Ross? Uh, it should be okay. Yeah, and then you, you just put them round. Um, and what Ross, yeah, and what Ross does, he, he adds little um, strips and panels and stuff to the sides. Uh, just, I'll go get that one. I'll go get that one in there. Doesn't seem in line with that panel that you've no, put, but it's, it's okay. It's got to go there. That's it. Okay. So what what we do is we just add little knickknacks and stuff um, to set them out a bit. You know, to make them look more. Bada boom, 
Bada bing, bada boom, that's. Yeah, let's let's sit in it. Ah. Hang on. It's the throne. Yeah, it's our throne. So there you got a little chair and stuff. Um you can actually you can actually use your imagination. Um and what we did as well is we actually put a panel on the roof like that. These are for our lights. You put your strips there. Break that away. You got your tube things. And then you just whack your glowstone on the bottom and put your panels round. Yeah, you probably want the ceiling a bit higher, but Yeah, we're just showing you we're just showing you some of our little techniques. And then you just put your corner piece in the corners, and you've got a light. Yeah. Kind of. Well, you got a light, kind of. I say kind of because them strips are meant to be in the middle. Um, or did we have two? We had two, didn't we, Ross? Like that. I've already got this strip. <laughs> two. Cool. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a nice way of light making your house look nice. Yeah. So um, that's that's a few little things. Um. With the towers, we actually use the thicker strips. Do you want to get a couple of them, Ross? I got some wooden ones. The thick ones. Uh, is that thick enough? Yeah, yeah. And then you just put. Wow. Say we're using stone. I'm gonna creative. Yeah, we'll just put wood for now. Yeah, make just, it look. Just put the wood there, Ross. Oh, now just around this side. Just, just, I'm just kind of showing. Okay. There you so, go. So it's tail empty, and then you put your corner piece in in there, and you can either have a big corner piece or, but it's best to have the small ones really. It's best to have the same size. It takes a while to actually figure out which is the right size. Yeah, but uh, I'll have a look. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of them. There is a, an absolute ton. There we go. So as Ross just showed you, there's probably he's probably showed you loads. There is loads. Um, I think they're the one colour, but it doesn't really matter. No, I think these are the other wood ones. But yeah. So um, what we do is we just put our strips down and and just try and make it, you know, look a bit different, look a bit less um, one colour, you know. It's probably just best to start with a small house first and then um, keep building on it. Yeah, and with the strip, with the, um, oh, what they're called, uh, covers... Red wall colour covers, okay. With the red wall covers, you can actually put little rugs down. You don't actually, um, they, they are too big to actually get your head banged on the ceiling. You can just have like little rugs then. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, we do actually use the Swift Wolf's rendering gale to actually flow up and down yeah. from buildings. But, so. um, but I'm actually using the Ring of Arcane uh, with me at the moment. But I'm actually in creative mode, so it doesn't actually have an effect. Um, yeah, but yeah. just in case you don't want to be in creative mode, you can use the... We're just showing that castle, Ross, a few of our little um, bits. Okay. So, in this room, we've got a glass floor, uh, as, you, as you can see. Um, I think it's reinforced glass, yeah, it is. With glowstone and the edges. And I've actually made floating chests to make them the alchemy chests. And you just put these out, stick a chest to that, break it away, and you've got a floating chest. Just adds a bit more of a uh, mythical feel. And these are this is our craft table covered in uh, panel strips and, and stuff um, to make it look more nice. Yeah, it is it's very nice. And um, the floor like adds an illusion, doesn't it? Like, yeah. So you can look under These them. are actually iron bars. Um, Ross put these in after he made his towers. We wasn't sure how he was going to do the roof, but the roof actually just joins to it um, quite nifty like. And these actually go all the way up, and there is actually an owl all the way down in the middle. And then these little roofs, that they was made out of blocks, wasn't they, Ross? Yeah, the little uh, corner pieces, I think. Yeah, yeah it's like that. The little the cues, and it took him quite a while. He got a bit carried away. Wooden plank slab corner, it's called. Yeah. So if we if we go down inside... But this is never rack. We're just, we're just taking you through this. These are actually woolen blocks we've actually put in the ground, um, which is kind of cool. Yeah, they uh, don't add the rug effect, do they? No. Nah. And see, with the table, Ross has actually added an iron border around this table, the panels and borders. It just adds an, a little um, light lifting feel, doesn't yeah. it, Ross? With our chair. Um, yeah. So what we did first with this castle is actually found the hill. We built this base, this, this area first. Ross was building his towers. And then I thought, oh, we'll have a grand entrance. So the grand entrance is actually a bit lower. Yeah, is, it looks nice. Which kind of works. Um, can't actually go out because it's locked from the outside. That's why we put the uh, secret passage in. Yeah, but that's 
that's our new way we show up. We can only get to the secret passages from outside anyway. Um, but yeah, it's it's all about location. Um, once you've got an idea of what you want to build and the location, it's it's pretty much simple. It just flows then. Yeah, it's pretty easy. I hope this uh, tutorial was very helpful to you. <laughs> we are trying our best at these. Yeah, we was given little information. Um, so we do hope it's helped um, you in a way. Um, yeah, so I do hope it's helped. Yeah, thanks for watching, everyone.